Can you play hide and go seek with a drone? Hundred Drones sent me their Mini 5 search and rescue light to test out. I don't do search and rescue, but I do think these lights could have a ton of uses for drone pilots. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the drone, setting up the lights, flying through a completely dark house, and of course, playing hide and go seek with my friends to test out the capabilities of these tiny but super bright lights. Tundra Drone did send me these lights for free, but they are not paying me for this review and they do not get to see it before I release it. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and consider supporting me on Patreon if you enjoy this type of content. Well, let's get into it and let's get right into the unboxing. It comes in a plain white box with their logo on the sticker closing the box. You open the box, it shows you what mount you got with it and then here is the product. It comes with this charger that has an XT30 port on the end of it which will be used to charge the 4S 350 milliamp hour LiPo battery that it comes with. Then you've got the light itself. This thing is so light. I was honestly super impressed and it has two LEDs, one on the front and one on the bottom. And this is everything that comes into the box. So let's set it up. So now that I've got the light unboxed, what I'm going to be doing is attaching it to the DJI Avada 2. Now they did send me two of these lights and I wanted to put one on either side, but this one has the original Avada mount and I don't have that. So I think I'm going to attach both of these to my Mini 4 Pro later on in the video. But for now, we're just gonna attach one onto the DJI Avada. Now, one of the things that I saw in the packaging um, is that it did not come with instructions. And for me, that is a big deal that things do not come with instructions. So we're gonna look online and see if there's any instructions on how to attach it. Because if you look at this mount, I have absolutely no idea how this is supposed to attach to the drone. I'm sure it goes on this side of the drone because there's an LED facing down. But from what I can tell, there's nothing to really attach or it to clip into. And I don't know if it goes on here. So we are um, just gonna look at the instructions and see if there's any online. Okay, so let's see here. This is their website. The Mini 5, click on it and see. Okay, so it looks like it's supposed to go in that hole like I thought it was, but let's see if there's any, um, any instructions on here. I'm not seeing anything, but they don't have any support for this light. Okay, so it'll attach on the mini on the arm. That's expected, but I don't see. Okay, so it is supposed to go in there. Well, I guess that's, it's supposed to be self-explanatory. So we're going to try to get it to attach. So I guess you pop it in here like this. Okay, that was really dumb of me to be going and searching for it very long. Um, yeah, it just literally snaps in and you push the tab and you can pull it out. So it'll go right next to your camera um, and you just kind of slot it in there pull it out and there you go. You have a light now attached to your drone. We have a green light. So that means that the battery is done and let's plug it up and see how bright this thing is. It's just gonna sit there for now. Okay, all right. And it's got one down below and one forward. Let's see if this will go any brighter. Holy crap. Lord have mercy, this sucker's bright. Okay, let's um attach this right here. We'll turn this off. We'll go ahead and attach this, peel off the plastic right here. Ooh, that sucker gets hot. Um, it is insanely bright. So we're gonna peel off the plastic and attach it. I'm gonna attach it a little bit closer. There we go. We have an attached drone 
And that is what you're... It looks beefy. That's insane. I have turned off all the lights in my house. And even in my basement, it is dark down here. So we're going to test this out and see what we can do with this drone and with this light. My kitchen obviously still has some light in it, but the living room is very dark. Um, and then we've got all the way back here to the studio it is very dark once again. So, oh, and if this camera will catch my face, there it is. So we're going to sit down, fly this drone and see what this thing is capable of. So I've got the drone turned on and I'm going to hit record so that you can see how dark it is in this room and what my drone is actually seeing. I've got my max ISO set to 400. So that's normally the highest that I'll go with this drone. So as you can see, it is incredibly dark. All right, so now we're going to turn on the light. And boom, oh my goodness, this thing is so bright. Look at how bright that thing is. Holy crap. Okay, let's see. Wow, that table needs to be very much so dusted off. All right, let's go into the basement. I mean, this thing is bright. Like, it's insane. I don't understand. I'm guessing that's all dust. That makes me concerned a little bit. Let's go. Okay, kitchen is going to be fine because it's bright. Let's go into the basement and see what it looks like down there. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. I don't understand why all of that stuff is being spit at me. Um, it is saying ambient light too weak, but, I mean, we can still see pretty much everything that's going on down here. And I'm telling you, the basement is pitch black. You cannot see anything. So, I'm pretty impressed by these lights. They're very much so kind of like a spotlight um, on them. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it's definitely getting it. Yeah, this sucker gets hot, hot, hot. Um, just so you're aware, this the light definitely gets very, very hot. Um, battery does not get hot, which is good. Um, and yeah, the drone is fine. So we uh, we live to see another day. I'm honestly amazed and a little bit concerned about how much dust I was seeing being brought into that. Um, I feel like I need to go vacuum now or something like that. I was originally hoping that I could use this for um, like home fly throughs that where the they're not as bright um, and they're kind of dark like what the house is right now. Definitely wouldn't be able to do that because it's a spotlight, not necessarily a floodlight. Um, but I am excited to go and play hide and seek tonight and put these on the Mavic 4 Pro and see how well it does um, going through the woods and chasing people. And I'll also actually be able to put both lights on the Mavic 4 Pro instead of just one. So this is just one light um, and I think it performed exactly the way that it needed to. It was quite impressive, honestly. So thankfully Tundra Drone included um, some different mounting options for this for me. So we are going to mount this to the Mini Pro and this is the drone that we're going to use to find people in the woods whenever we play hide and go seek tonight. Those are the mounts and you have to unscrew that off and then put it back in. There was no included tool that comes with this, which I get it. If you're a professional and you're doing this, you should have tools. Um, but I feel like that's a little bit of an oversight on their part. I think they could have put some tools in with it um, in order to I don't know, just have a more polished package, especially since this requires star bits in order to take out the screws. So we're just gonna take out all these screws and we'll get this thing going. The mount for the Mini 4 Pro, it kind of clips in on here, which is really nice. And then there's just two screw holes that you'll put in and we just screw them in. 
there's a little nub right here. Um, and so I'm guessing that that goes into one of the holes here. Um, so we'll figure out which hole it goes into. But there is a left and a right. So there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. And would you look at that? It goes in the screw hole that is right there. Once it's in there, you just take the Velcro and cinch it down. And boom. The thing ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. And there we go, number two. Wow, doesn't that thing look mean? How about that coming at you? Let's take off this for full effect. Bum, 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 bum. All right, now let's see where we're going to mount the batteries on this. This thing, oh, ho, ho, not doing under 250 grams with this sucker. But let's see, let's see what it looks like with it all turned on. Bum, 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 bum. That thing is going to be insane coming at you. Yeah, this thing is bright. Okay, sick. Well, I am super excited to test this out. So the next time that you see me, I will be at my parents' house in the woods with a bunch of friends. So as you can see, it is pitch dark out here. Um, we got the drone going and we're going to we're going to chase them. So I messed up when recording this and did not have my microphone on. So I was recording myself and everything that we were doing during this, but it did not record. So shame on me and I can't go back and do it again if I want this video to come out on time. So um, I flew up into the woods. The drone handled just fine. Now, whenever you're flying something like this without um, obviously ambient light, none of your sensors are going to work. So I was flying extremely slow and being super cautious. You can see, I don't think there was an issue with my house whenever I flew all that dust flying up I think it's truly just because the lights are pointing right in front of the camera you can see all of the dust that comes up um, so yeah so I was just flying around and looking now the video looks a little bit better in this clip because I did some post processing to it but I found these two guys pretty quickly I was honestly impressed that my little brother got up in that tree like he did so then after that I moved on to go find some more people and would you look at that i did see the his sleeve out of the corner of my eye and then saw that there was another person there so we caught peyton and georgie um they both hid together i don't know why both sets of guys hid together that made absolutely no sense to me but this is me motioning for him to get out as well he thought i didn't see him but we did and then i turned around and was going back towards the other direction i do know these woods extremely well i can see the how someone could get lost doing something like this because um, there's really no way to see. And honestly, I did not see Tony right here until I was about that close. And then I was like, oh, there he is. So he got out and that was all of them. They didn't hide anything super crazy because it was dark and they didn't have flashlights, but we returned it back. And honestly, I was impressed at how much I could see. I did have to push the drone to its ISO maximum, but you're not going to be filming with this. You're looking for people with this. And thanks so much to all these guys for helping me out. Couldn't have done it without them. Let's talk about the specs of these lights. The lights weigh about 24 grams, depending on which mount you have on them. And then the batteries are 34 grams a piece, bringing the added weight to your drone to 58 grams per light. The website says each light module is a thousand lumens on low, 2,500 lumens on medium, and 5,000 lumens on high. I have no way of actually testing them out, but they are insanely bright. The battery life is 40 minutes on low, 16 minutes on medium, and eight minutes on high. Through my testing, I would say these numbers are fairly accurate. In the hide and seek portion, I used them on medium and flew for about 14 minutes before I landed the drone and the lights didn't turn off or dim at all. So I would say it's pretty accurate. The color temperature of the light is claimed to be 5,700 Kelvin, but in actuality, the lights I received are closer to about 4,000 Kelvin. As you can see, when I turn them on in my studio in here, my main studio light is 5,600 Kelvin, and this light is way warmer than that. The price of each light is $200, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Before I get into the pros and cons list, these lights are advertised to police, firefighters, first responders, and military. So just keep that in mind that they are not advertised for just normal drone users. We'll start off with the pros. The lights are bright and they last how long they're advertised. They're really small and don't add too much weight to the drone and it would be no problem to buy additional batteries for super cheap in order to be doing multiple missions with these. The 3D printed mounts that comes with this are really nice prints and seem decently durable in case of crash. 
overall, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. They are bright lights that can be used for search and rescue. Now for the cons. First off, the price. For me personally, with everything that comes with this kit, $200 seems a bit steep. And as a consumer, I would not pay $200 for this product. Now, once again, it's aimed for first responders, but if you wanted to do some creative things with your drone, like light painting or videos at night, I don't think that I could justify $200 for this product for each light. The packaging and the product itself just gives it a cheap feel. I think there are some things that could have been included that would have made this product more premium. For example, there is no tool included to change out the mounts and there are no additional screws. And with how small these screws are, you will absolutely be losing them if you take them out for any period of time. There are no instructions included with this drone on how to install the mounts, and there are no instructions online. Yes, I figured it out, but when I first looked at the Avada 2 mount, I was like, how on earth does this thing attach to the drone? And then there's no warning card that comes with the batteries, which Brings me to my biggest issue with this light system is the battery and the charger. This alone would make me not buy this product. The batteries are 4S LiPo batteries, which are great for providing lots of power all at once in order to power these lights. The problem is the safety hazards with using LiPo batteries. LiPo batteries are supposed to be charged to 4.2 volts, which the charger does. The problem when using a charger like the one included versus a balanced charger is that there's no way to balance each of the four cells within the battery. The cell can discharge and charge at different rates and if you're not using the balance charger over time the cells have a different range of voltage per cell which can eventually cause the battery to vent which is a nice way of saying exploding also with these batteries they cannot be discharged below 3.5 volts and they must be stored at 3.8 volts if they are not being used for a period of longer than two days so the charger it comes with is not a balanced charger there's no way for you to see the battery voltage in order to see if it's at 3.8 volts for storage or if it's charged or if it's depleted and there's no way for you to discharge the battery if you needed to store it other than plugging it into the light and hoping you can figure out where the storage voltage is. The reason why all of that is an issue is you are paying a premium price for this light at $200 and it does not come with the proper tools to maintain the battery or even warnings or instruction in order to have a safe operating experience. All of that being said, it just feels like an unfinished product. I like the lights and how they perform. They perform how they're supposed to and this is a fantastic solution for first responders to be able to take a drone into a building before they send in humans. But with the price tag and the lack of support and the lack of knowledge given about the batteries that are being used, I don't feel like I can recommend this product unless you are someone who has experience with LiPo batteries and either owns a balance charger and battery voltage tester, or you're willing to buy one. I don't know how their other products are. They do look more premium on their website, but I can truly only speak to this product. And I really hate to say that because I was super excited about this product, but I'm always gonna give my honest feedback whenever someone sends me their product to review. If you would like to purchase this product or visit their website to see what other products they have, the link will be in the description down below. What do you think about these lights? Am I being too harsh on them? Let me know in the comments down below. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It really makes a difference. And please consider supporting me on Patreon as this channel is self-funded. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.